Yes, boss. 444 the world back in here again once again, dog. Happy to be here. Happy to see you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You see the topic, you see what it is that we're talking about today, right? <clears throat> Never make somebody compete for your love, attention, things of that nature, right? In today's society, I think it's gotten worse where a lot of people have gotten to play games, right? Because as I stated before, back then, the adults back then never played as much as the adults today right and when you play 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 everything is lit everything's a game right social media caused that you feel me TikTok, right you have the ability to play all day long you have a lot of people out here chasing after you right you got a lot of options on the table you got a lot on the forefront right but you got to understand something when people make somebody compete for their love or attention, it's for of but so many few reasons, right? But one of the main ones, right? People do this because they hope that you don't see your value. They know your value. They know what it is that you bring to the table, right? So that's why they make you compete. And in all reality, I'm just gonna be honest. You're one of the strongest links. Cause here's the deal. And this is another factor that ties into this. And I got the Jenga pieces too. I'm gonna bring back out the Jenga pieces. If you guys like the Jenga pieces, let me know, dog, because I like them for examples, you feel me? And I'm gonna uh, amplify them. So here's the deal, right? The 80-20 rule is very true, right? And if you don't know about the 80-20 rule, 80-20 rule basically goes like, the person that you need to go with is the 80. They may not have the other 20 that you're looking for, but if you put in that work or help them put in that work, you can get maybe like a 10 or fit or another five or maybe the whole 20, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way how I feel about it, right? So that's why a lot of people play games have a lot of options. Oh, I have this one person who does this for me, this one person who buys me this, this one person who gets me this. So they make you compete for them. So I'm gonna bring out the Jenga pieces, right? This is the person who supposedly feels like they're on a pedestal, right? Supposedly they hold the power, people are competing for me, right? This is their throne. That they sit on, right? This is that person, right? Then they feel like, you know what? I have an option for somebody who always sends me a good morning text or whatever it is. Take it as it resonates for a job or whatever, right? Somebody who's trying to hide your value, whether it be in a family, whatever, right? But this is like relationships, so make it easy like that, right? I got a person who sends me my good morning text. I have a person who cash apps me. I have a person who pay certain bills for me. I have a person who takes me on dates. I have a person who takes me shopping. I have a person who I link up whenever I need that. You know what I'm saying? I got a person who just flies me out, right? Right, hold on, wait. What a f person that flies out? Right here, right? And then you, these are a lot of different 20s, right? They're 80s too in their own way, right? But here's you, right? person that they're making compete you can do damn near all of this stuff right here and then some but they try to make you compete for their love and their attention like fight just to get in just to get to them right here's the deal with that in these situations when people try to make you compete like I said it's only because you don't know your value you feel me or because you don't believe you can get better than them right but I'm here to tell you that that's all not true. You can do way more, right? It's like a famous saying I always heard when I was younger, dog. When one door closes, another one opens. It's just like with a job. One job try to make you feel like, oh, well, you have to fight and compete versus Harold, Sherry, Tom, Dick, 
Harry and Charles just to get to this position right here. This, reverse the rule. This ain't a person no more. This is the job position. What are you going to do? Huh? You, you, you going to fight your way up? Huh? Everybody's over here fighting to get to it. You ain't got to fight, dog. Guess what? Where you're not appreciated, you'll be appreciated elsewhere. Ah, you feel me? That's what makes life so amazing. You feel me? So that's how you can reverse the roles. But how you reverse the role is you have to understand your vi your values, the standards of the world, and what's what is deemed as, yo, this is worthy. You feel me? Or this person has value. You feel me? So that's why I say you shouldn't compete for somebody. But I'm going to go a little bit deeper into it, right? When you're competing for somebody's love or attention, you're wasting your time. You feel me? And I state this all the time. Time is something that you cannot get back. The more time that you waste, the more that you figure out that you are just bleeding in, out your time and wasting your energy to something that doesn't even really care about you whether it's a job or a person or a friendship relationship you get what i'm saying it's like you're basically giving to a leech a bloodsucker a parasite think about it right what is a parasite and what is a leech right a parasite is something that damn near sucks the life out of you dog think about it right that's just like what a mosquito does a mosquito comes to you and takes the blood and just sucks out of you and then just leaves that bump and they belly full gone gone right that's what a lot of people who put you in competition want you to do bleed out your time they empty you dry of everything and then they look at you like you're a piece of shit you feel me like who are you you're nothing you feel me because i have everything i got the money i got this i got that you feel me depending on the person and their personality so take it as it goes you feel me but some people do have a mindset on the inside where they look at you like oh you're nothing to me like uh it's a privilege for you to be around me so yeah i'll i'll give you time i'll give you scrums that's where bread a uh, breadcrumbing comes into play did a previous video about that you feel me people will breadcrumb you and put you in competition right here's the reason why they shouldn't put you in competition people eventually wake up and find their value right whatever time it is whether it's after two years three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty thirty forty fifty you feel me they find their value but that's why they say you never let people get the best of you, you feel me? Because people rob you of your essence and do this while you're in your prime, you feel me? Because when you're in your prime, you're supposed to use those years to advance you and take you to higher heights and new levels where when you're out of your prime, you can relax and be like, yo, when I was in my prime, I balled, you feel me? Give you an example about being in your prime. And that all correlates to this message. Just like, look at basketball. Look at LeBron, right? LeBron came out the gate hot. Cooking crack hot. You feel me? Doing everything. Cooking everybody at a young age. Straight out of high school, right? Even in his prime, he was turning up. You feel me? He didn't... He, LeBron could have literally stayed at Cleveland and let Cleveland rob him of his time, dog. Yes, he loved the place. Yes, this is my city. Yes, I love this team. Yes, I grew up here as a child. Yes, you guys dedicated a lot to me. Yes, you guys took a first round pick on me. You gave me the first pick. Yes, you guys gave me a start. But I'm not going to let you rob me of my time, my years, my prime. You get what I'm saying? Think about it like this, bro. And I just that just flowed in a different kind of way for me, right? Because I didn't even mean for it to go like that. Let's go deeper into those waters if you know about LeBron. Where did LeBron leave and go to? The Miami Heat, you feel me? He came to the 305, right? Got a ring down here, right? Got a couple rings down here, right? Up and left and went and got rings elsewhere. You want to know what's so funny about that? Him getting his rings, he got his rings in his prime. Everybody knows if LeBron would have stayed with Cleveland, LeBron would have never got squat, dog. I'm being so real with you, dog. He had to wait some time for, for, for you feel me, for things to turn back around, dog. He needed somebody there to help him. You feel me? That's when Cleveland and them got it with Kyrie Irving, dog. 
You get what I'm saying? Everything takes time, dog. It may not be right then and there at that moment, but it takes time. You can come right back to it, dog. Depends on the situation, but at the end of the day, never waste your time competing for somebody and whatever it is that they have for you, love, time, job, whatever, because you're just burning up your time, dog. You could take a step back, dog, and go elsewhere, bro. Let people miss you, dog, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it, dog. You feel me? But when people waste your time and put you in competition, it's it's because it's a comfort for them. And when you're not comfortable, because it's an uncomfortable situation, you have to get up and move, dog. Never ever do that. Back into when people make you compete for their love, right? When you make somebody compete for you, your time, your love, and all of that, and they eventually find their value, you are in for a rude awakening, dog. What makes that worse is especially if you don't have any damn value, dog. Everybody has value, but let me break it down in another kind of way so it doesn't sound offensive, right? When I say value, meaning that all you are is just a good time. And when I say a good time, you know what I mean, just a good time. You don't know how to cook. You don't know how to clean. You're lazy. All you know how to do is dress up and get fly. Dog, everything fades away, dog. Times are getting harder. It says that in the Bible that the, the lust of the world shall pass and all of that. That's happening now, bro. A lot of people low-key are sick of a lot of stuff, dog. Because it's like it, it don't add up. It don't make sense. You feel me? Just like when a bunch of people want to just go around and have sex and just make babies, but you can't take care of the family. You feel me? You're not financially stable, dog. You're not, you just out here free for all, head first, just having fun with it, dog. And it's like, you can't even take care of your situation, dog. That look away, you feel me? That's what creates more havoc in the world because when you can't take care of your responsibilities and all of that, that's when people have to go and do things in an ill-advised kind of way just to get what it is that they want. You feel me? So, understand this, dog. Back in the competing, um, when you make somebody compete for your time, dog, and you don't have nothing to offer, like I said, you're going to be on the end where when you were on your high horse, back into this now, this is a person now, you feel me? The person who found their value wasn't going to compete for you and your attention walked away. All these potential suitors or whatever, they just slowly started to walk away or whatever the case may be, right? Now, this person that walked away, they started to build their own self up. Now they on their own pedestal, right? The way that it should be, right? The good person, the person that work hard, they on their own pedestal. Now, they got people trying to walk, squander for them, their time, all of that, right? And the same person who was popping hot stuff is low and gone. No pedestal, just one is the loneliest number. That, that type of vibe, right? Then, it's a thing where you have pride, you have ego, you don't know how to come and approach uh, the person that you try, you don't know how to uh, say you're sorry, because you know from the get-go, you played a dumb game. Some people who do stuff like this, they sometimes like that person, but they just get a kick out of playing the game and then they play themselves out of a hand, aka you forfeit your hand, you feel me? When you forfeit your hand from doing stuff by making somebody compete instead of working hard and just doing things from the beginning, you're going to be, you're going to pay, dog. And you want to know what makes it even worse too? When a person that you are com making compete for whatever love, time, and attention ends up to to do some things in life or ends up elevating way past the stage where you had them in you're going to feel sick 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 dog i'm talking about bro like hospice bed rest sick dog like you sick dog. you can't move bro because when you do stuff like that it's because the mind goes but so far for certain people but the mind goes far when it comes to being in a survival lack mindset 
in the things that people will do just to get what it is that they want to quench their thirst or their urges for whatever it is that they desire right now you see this person is where they need to be your mind only went but so far to the corner when it came to doing evil your mind went all the way around the world but when it comes to seeing a, a person's potential you didn't see it. your mind only went down the street now you start seeing it from an outside perspective and you're like yo that person doing this this person doing that why didn't i see that because you were too busy making the person compete for you instead of you using your creativity and longevity vision to do foolishness you should have used it to see dog how can things be in a better way or a better situation and that's one of the problems in the world dog people don't try to see things in an aspect where it's gonna benefit on a bigger or greater scale they just see things in a selfish all for self type type thing you feel me almost like a victor sweet mentality dog if you know about victor sweet that's from the four brothers i love the hell out of that movie dog this is a sweet deal for me none for you right sad day in hell when you're on the outside looking in and it's like yo i should have never played that game or i should have never made that person compete for me well guess what now you can join a line if you want to or if that person does have a line of people who want to compete and guess what we're gonna reverse the roles. You had a person who, yo, you cook for me, you give me money, you take me trip on trips, you cash at me, you just do whatever. You're there, you're my listening ear, right? Now, reverse the roles because a lot of the people who play dumb games, they believe in quantity over quality. The person who's smart believes in quality over quantity. So the options you had that you felt comfortable with, that you were like, yeah, you're going to feel nervous. You're going to feel a million times nervous to see the competition that you're stacked up against. Because all you had was probably WAP, or you were slanging, or you have looks. And it's like, you have to remember, looks do deteriorate, deteriorate and people do hit a wall in a way. You feel me? Especially, I'm not going to lie, women do hit a wall, dog. If you ain't take care of yourself or do certain things, bro, guess what? You're going to hit a wall. You feel me? Especially if you have numerous of kids or certain things like that. Not no shade towards nobody, but this is all facts, bro. All facts, no cap. You're going to, you're, you, you hit a wall in a way, bro. So you're going to be out of the competition in a way. So I'm going to give you another example. Let's say this person is like a graduated school, like a nurse or something. Got their business or got something else going on the side this person right here in school or have ambition whatever right this person loyal all of that god fearing all of that then you have this person here look good they have all of this what the next person have loyal then you have this person right here who's not a thought not a whore not none of that you feel me and they're like yeah i want that i see the future then you have this person right here they're like i have a car i'm working on certain things i may have a child or whatever the case may be but i don't care i'm still gonna shoot my shot then you have this person right here they're like listen i'll do whatever it takes just to be around this person you being the odd man out that puts somebody in competition that's what the fuck you're gonna have to compete against nothing but pure quality my g you feel me versus all of the quantity options that you had when you was running the show this person has nothing but quality options where they're at so it x's you out and makes you the odd man out you forfeit your hand you look like a doofy like straight gumby gumby pure idiot you feel me especially add injury into the salt wound right add add more salt into the wound let's say if this was a situation that you bragged on to certain people guess what dog you bragged on putting somebody in competition people remember names and faces bro people are gonna be like dog ain't that such and such bro ain't that the person you played with you know what this person has to do they have to eventually go and like hide underneath a rock dog yo whatever happened to such and such i don't see him around no more oh i know why yeah and guess what all of the people that you're trying to put on the show for they end up laughing at you now you become a laughing stock that's where i'm not gonna lie if people don't know this is how far stuff goes in life 
if you squandered your time, put people in competition, played a stupid hand like straight, straight dummy hands all day long, stupid, no smart investments. I'ma invest with you, the scammer and the drug dealer, the dude who don't care about me, I'ma give it to you all day freely. The, the girl over here who, who you don't give a damn about me, I'm spending all my time with you, I'm doing everything, right? Versus this girl who really care about me. I'm doing all of this, right? Guess what? You built out, you dealt out and invested in nothing but BS and for your whole life, dog. That's where you become the laughing stock and you become the idiot. And it don't even stop there. When people do stuff like that and they have to eventually hide under a rock, that's when real depression sets in. Especially if somebody is on an end where like, yo, I'm broke now or I don't look like what I used to or I have kids or certain stuff like that and you become run down or used goods, dog, hear the term used goods, that is not good, bro. That is not good, bro. I know what used goods, I know used goods. You get what I'm saying? That's not good. When people fall into that state and it gets deeper, you become used goods or damaged goods or whatever the case may be, and you're not what you used to be, you use your prime to do foolishness, some people go deeper than a depression. Some people go into picking up serious drug habits, dog. Certain things that they cannot come out of all because of making piss poor decisions, dog. You get what I'm saying? In life, life is all about hard work right but when you make somebody compete for your time or attention or you fall in the competition for competing for somebody time vice versa take it as a resonate it's not worth it dog it's not worth it bro do the best you can to make smart decisions in life so you don't end up with crappy ass results bro don't squander your time in your life wasting it on bs bro don't run yourself into the ground giving up your 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 words or whatever it is to people who are undeserving that don't give two frigs about you you know what i'm saying that being said dog remember this dog words can help you it can hurt you but here on my channel i use them to uplift you because everybody is a champion on here dog that being said dog it's your boy 444 the world love you guys peace